football and sports fans are talking about it. Broke over the weekend, but SEC great Peyton Manning made it official today. CBS 42 sports anchor Chris Brees is here with one of the NFL's all-time greats. Very emotional retirement, Chris. Rumors about whether this is going to happen or not have been circulating ever since Super Bowl 50. And now one month later, Peyton Manning is finally saying goodbye. Kansas City 12. Unflappable for almost two decades in the NFL, Peyton Manning struggled to stay composed as he said goodbye to football. Well, I fought a good fight. I finished my football race. And after 18 years, it's time. Manning retires as one of the NFL's greatest players ever. It's only five-time MVP and the all-time leader in passing yards and touchdowns. There were other players who were more talented, but there was no one who could outprepare me. And because of that, I have no regrets. The first pick in the 1998 draft, Manning spent 14 years with the Indianapolis Colts and won a Super Bowl there. Then he moved to Denver, leading the Broncos through an improbable final act and capped it off winning Super Bowl 50 last month. But his final season was also marred by controversy. Allegations in an Al Jazeera document said performance-enhancing drugs, HGH, were shipped to his home, and then a lawsuit alleging sexual assault while he was at Tennessee. But Manning has denied all wrongdoing. I revere football. I love the game. So you don't have to wonder if I'll miss it. Absolutely. Absolutely, I will. So Peyton Manning, a two-time Super Bowl champion, four-time AFC champion, 14 Super Bowls. He becomes eligible for the Football Hall of Fame in five years, guys. It'll be interesting to see what he does next, Brock.